Traveling to exciting destinations can be fun, filled with food, and still healthy. Today, healthy travel snacks for your flight is what I'm covering. Now planning your healthy snacks is key, so make sure you grab the checklist and the recipes in the links below, and let's get started. Keto, paleo, Mediterranean, low carb, and healthy fat is what are my go-tos with reduced sugar to make sure I'm maintaining my fitness lifestyle when I travel and fly. And the key, of course, is making sure that it's still delicious. Now, the last few years, we've all experienced food shortages in airports, limited options, unhealthy choices, and those high, high expensive costs of food. So this makes traveling with pre-planned snacks even more important. Now, before I share my healthy go-to snacks, I want to talk to you a little bit about containers. Now, this is my box of travel containers, which consists of all different types of typically plastic disposable containers with lids that I collect over time, coffee cups with the lids that I can use to prepare, transport, and store the food for flights and then dispose of it as I go along. And here's just an example of what that looks like. This is a Trader Joe's Mediterranean style hummus container that I have made a quinoa salad, quinoa, chicken, olives, uh, feta cheese, pesto. And I actually freeze this the night before I'm gonna travel and it comes out perfectly ready to go. It will act as an ice pack and then in a couple of hours, it'll be ready to eat. And of course, Ziploc snack bags are indispensable. Now the first food option I wanna to talk to you about is my Brain Booster Coffee, which is quite similar to Dave Asprey's Bulletproof Coffee. Now I was gifted a Yeti, which I absolutely love, and I travel with this all the time. And here's how my coffee plan works. What I do in the morning before I leave is I place a tablespoon of butter in this. I also measure out, and again, in the links below is the recipe for this. I measure out my cacao powder, my collagen powder, all the things I'm gonna use, including throwing that little pat of butter in here. I stick it in my Yeti cup, and then it's basically ready to go at the airport. Once I board the airplane, I order coffee, and I put the coffee in there, and then I use my little portable frother video to show you how to do it. My little portable frother that I can literally stir up all the ingredients with. I also travel with um, raw almond butter, these little packets that you can order off Amazon, links below. And then this is a little travel container of frozen coconut milk. I freeze it the night before. Coconut milk freezes extremely well. Again, it packs in as an ice cube to keep your other stuff cold and then it will defrost right about the time that you're ready to use it. It usually is about three hours between when I leave my home and I'm ready to make my bulletproof coffee on the airplane. So I have all of these. MCT oil, another thing in my recipe for bulletproof coffee. And over time I've saved, this is actually a Trader Joe's Marula facial oil that I completely cleaned out, but I love it. It has this little squeeze thing and it's exactly one teaspoon of MCT oil. So I've cleaned it out, I've stored MCT oil in this, and it simply travels with me. It fits right in my uh, my liquids container too because it's, the, it's regulation size, we'll put it that way. All right, you can also, one of the other things I travel with, I always travel with a couple of packets of instant coffee, and I will also travel often with um, collagen powder prepackaged, especially when I'm traveling out of the country. Now, a lot of times, like I said, I will get it ready ahead of time just in a little Ziploc. I'll make, let's say I'm going on a four-day trip, I'll make four of these and, and pack them, but I'll always pack the first one in my Yeti so it's ready to go. That's bulletproof coffee. And the frother, again, I'll put the link below for that. Now, one other thing that I always travel with is my Takeya, or however you say it, uh, bottle. My son's in the Marine Corps, so I like to rep for him. I put frozen ice cubes in this, and then I will freeze this container overnight. I pull this out, 
and then it travels with me. It can either melt or I can use the water dispenser in the airport with the filtered water to fill this up, but I'm never short of water. This clips right to my backpack so it doesn't take up any extra space as part of my carry-on. And with my Bulletproof coffee, I actually like to drink it ice. So once I get on the airplane, I will just pop these out or I'll order ice from the flight attendant and ice my coffee. This also works as a great cold pack with the rest of your items. Now, the next thing that I always travel with are nuts. These are dry roasted nuts that I make my own blend. I just use a combination of Brazil nuts, walnuts, pecans, almonds, pistachio nuts, and macadamia nuts. I put them in a, on a baking sheet and I'll drizzle just a little bit of olive oil and sprinkle them with spices that I love, garlic, paprika, cumin. I like spicy nuts and I never leave home without these because just a handful will cure the hunger pains when you feel them settling in. So nuts are a go-to. See where the Ziploc bags are handy? These are just olives. Olives have great fiber, they're satiating, they have healthy fats, and again, just a two to three of these will stave off the hunger pangs. They go great on a salad, you can pop them in your mouth wherever you are, and they are a fantastic travel snack. Protein powder, another thing I never leave home without. It folds up. This is probably three different protein shakes. I can mix it just as simply with water, um, a little bit of coconut milk if I have some extra frozen. Often you can even buy coconut water in the airports now. Anything that you can do to keep this healthy. And again, give your body good nutrients that are on the healthy side and not just junk. Now, as a keto paleo girl, I love fat bombs. These are fat bombs that I make myself. I always travel with three to four of these and I'll eat maybe one or two a day. Uh, Sometimes I travel with more depending on how far I'm going and where and the recipe will be in the links below. Now for pre-packaged options, I love to buy these little packets of albacore tuna. You can also get salmon. Um, You can order these little pasture raised turkey sticks from Paleo Valley, or if you like beef jerky, I like to always carry a couple of protein bars and I prefer the kind um, that, you know, there's not a really absolutely fantastic protein bar typically that's going to satisfy everything from keto to paleo, gluten-free, all the different options, maybe nut-free. So ultimately you have to find what you enjoy and what works best for you. Just pay attention to the ingredients, less is more, and certainly less sugar. I almost always travel with two avocados. The nice thing about avocados is that you can use just really, just a a plastic knife. These go very well in with my coffee. Two of them won't fit in here with my other Bulletproof. But I mentioned that I always keep these so I can stick this in here and guess what? It doesn't get all squishy and bruised. And then again, I can just throw this away. But avocados again are like a superfood. They're great for your brain. They give you healthy fats. They're satiating. Um, They relieve those hunger pangs. They've got great fiber. This truly is what I consider a miracle food. One other thing I'm big on in the do-it-yourself, I mentioned all these containers that I keep. I love to pack my own healthy gluten-free crackers inside these containers. This is a Trader Joe's clarified butter container. But again, once I'm done with it, I can either pack it and take it home to use again or just trash it. I always travel with some healthy Kerrygold cheese. And then this is chicken, organic pasture-raised chicken that I've roasted and then I freeze it pop it out the next morning and throw it in with my frozen foods, it will literally last all day with how I pack it. And then one of my favorite meals that I eat every day at home is my hormone balancing seed cycling regimen. And the recipe is in the link below. But this is another one that I simply use chia seeds, hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, berries, a little bit of almond butter, some feta cheese and coconut milk. You can mix it all up at once, freeze it, And then again, I pop it out, it goes in my bag and it helps keep everything cold. And within three to four hours, it is ready to eat. Now, if you don't want it to be frozen that long, then you can just store it in the fridge. But depending on how long your flight is, it's a great option to freeze it and it doesn't take it that long to defrost. Now, one of the other things that I do is I will pre-package that seed combo, hemp seeds, chia seeds, uh, nuts and coconut 
flakes, all that stuff that's in the recipe, I'll prepackage three or four of these, however many days I'm going to be gone. And then all I have to do, if the hotel has any type of fruit or I'll run to a market and grab some fresh fruit, or sometimes I'll eat it without fruit. I always try to carry a little bit of that frozen coconut milk, or I will stop and pick that up. But this makes a great breakfast. And especially when you're on the go. And it's a much healthier and certainly less expensive alternative. Again, with Ziplocs, you can travel with salad. And one of the other things I like to do, as I mentioned, um, I can put my lettuce and salad in a container like this. I make my own salad dressing and we'll put it in a, a little glass container like this and it travels with me and then boom, I can just put it on my salad. I can shake all this up and it's ready to go. I can add that shredded chicken, I can add cheese, I can add olives, I can slice up the avocado, any of that. And I can do all of this right at my seat on the airplane or in the terminal between flights. Now, one thing I like to do is keep this little bag. It's a compression bag. I like to keep this packed with napkins, uh, my uh, a kind bar and my little uh, packets of coffee. I've got some honey in here that I've collected. If I want to have tea, I have tea in here. I keep all of this in this little container and then I can just grab this out of my bag and it has everything. Okay, a couple of key things that go in that little bag. I always travel with my own little spoon, my glass straw, so I'm never without a straw, and this little utensil that will clean out the straw, okay, as well as clean out my Yeti cup and in this little travel bag and this little container, I actually put liquid dishwashing detergent. A couple of other things I always travel with are extra plastic bags that roll up super small, rubber bands because those always come in handy, and a lemon along with that plastic knife that can cut my avocado or my lemon or even work as a spoon. And then all of it fits in my little packing cube for food. Now, I have this little um, cooler bag that came from 31 Gifts. It was actually a gift to me, but I'm sure you can find any type of cooler bag. What I like to do is I will put my seeds that are frozen. I will put the chicken that's frozen in here, the olives, the fat bombs maybe, although they're not required to go in there. So in this case, I'm going to put the salad, okay, the salad in a Ziploc this time, along with my cheese. Okay, and it's gonna stay along with my coconut milk, which is also frozen. And then I can simply zip this up. And it has a handy little thing that will also hang off a bag. Now, all the rest of what you see here is gonna need to go in this Lululemon bag. So I simply, here's my Yeti with all my good stuff, including my avocado, okay, my Frother doesn't necessarily have to go in here because it's not suspicious, but all the rest of my food items I'm going to put inside here, even though they're sticking out, this will ultimately stick out of the box, back, the top of my backpack. I will attach this and then I simply put this through TSA by itself because very often food will get stopped and checked. That's okay. I make it easy. That way they don't have to dig through any of the rest of my carry-on bags. And then when I get to the airport, I will rearrange this and put it into my travel bags. And I'll show you that on a future video. But hopefully you can see how simple it is to pack. Can't forget my extra plastic bags. They just stuff in here. I can also strap this to uh, the other side with another clip that I have. But again, I like to make it super simple for those healthy snacks, healthy foods to go through TSA, have them go through it, clear me through. I've seriously never had anything taken from me, including my ice. One of the reasons I freeze this is because then st even still by the time I get to the airport, because it's a quality container, it's an expensive container, the ice doesn't melt. They sometimes will open it up and look at the ice and sometimes they just shake it and they can tell and it gets through every single time. All right, I hope that helps you. Don't forget to download the checklist and the recipes that I've included in the links below. I would love to hear in the comments, how do you travel? What questions do you have? What type of foods do you typically take? I would love to have your recommendations too. I'm Jackie Almer, Travel Life by a Pilot Wife. Please subscribe and share the show and let me know what else you'd like to hear. 
Learn more about me at highaltitudehabits.com.